Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we're playing with the KF2 soundtrack in the background. I quite like the KF2 soundtrack, so may as well go for it, right? We're on Desolation as Commando on Hell on Earth. I quite like Commando, I've been playing it a lot lately, and uh... Come on, just shoot him in the face. Just make the shot, okay? I see you. Don't even think if I don't see you. Look at that shot. You see that shot? That's an excellent shot. So I was thinking last night. I mean, first up, I'm still having microphone troubles. I'm thinking it's probably software. So I uh, I, may, I, I make a move to uh, a new installation of uh, some OS, and it should work. I do not have the time to do that right now, though. So I will probably be excited to install the the. I still have to install the the drive that it the, that 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 operating system is going to go on, which is a 512 gig M.2, and I'm gonna just hope that works. Uh, but it's 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 that's that's some time. That is that is a time investment. So uh, we uh, we have to I I, I have to, next next week right next week next week's episodes I'll I'll probably be playing on Linux. I'll try to be anyway. Um, but there's a, a whole heck of a lot to, to get done before I can uh, do that. Unfortunately, it's just you know installing it, setting it up. It's uh, it's a lot of time, so uh, I don't have the time right now, and I'm not gonna be able to do that right now. But next week, I'm hoping I'll be able to do it. I'm hoping the performance of KF2 on Linux is okay. Uh, I'm hoping there aren't too many like visual bugs and all that kind of stuff too. Uh, cause I'd really like to be able to move to Linux. Everything else I do, I can do on Linux just fine. So I'm really hoping I can make the move. But anyway, I was, uh, I was sitting in my bed, lying in my bed, being in my bed, last night. And I was thinking to myself about today. Right, like how today is going to go, what we're going to be talking about. And uh, we'll go for like two more of these and then all of that. I was thinking, you know, what are we, what are we gonna talk about? How's this gonna go? All that kind of stuff. Whenever I'm, I'm planning on doing a, a day of talking to people or to myself or to the video or whatever, I always, I always think ahead of time. You know, what are we gonna talk about? What's the, what are the, what are the talking points, right? So last night I was thinking to myself, I'm like, all right, so we got really good topics to talk about today, but I'm probably gonna forget by like the third episode. So I'm like planning out the actual script for the start of the first episode and it's you know welcome back this is Yama Jack today we've got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about but I'm probably gonna forget by like episode four um, and uh, that was that was basically the script for the first part of the episode that I had right and uh, now I'm like man I can't even remember half of the things I was planning on talking about but I can remember at least one the most important thing I can remember that at the very least. Come on, please just allow me to survive this ordeal, please. Mmm, that sucks. Oh my good god. That stinking corridor there is just death. It's just death. We're gonna try again. I can't remember them. The, mo the most important thing is I've got my website updated. I spent a fair bit of time over the past couple of days going through and redesigning it from the ground up. So it's all there. It's got all the videos on it. It's got the latest videos page. It's got an about page with some contact information and uh, a little blurb about me. Uh, it's got the uh, the RuneScape 3 Adventurers log for my main account anyway. I'm probably going to be moving it because I just got a message from somebody on Reddit about how to get timestamps for the Adventurers log, which is fantastic because that was the thing I was missing to be able to put my Adventurers log for my... Because uh, the... Oh, no. We're just going to die immediately, huh? Man! <laughs> Because the uh, when you go to your your Rune Metrics account and you try and get your RSS feed for your Adventurers log by clicking the RSS feed button on your Adventurers log, it's uh, there's no timestamps. It gives you the day but no time. So somebody just gave me a link that does have a time, so I'll be able to add that in and then 
um, like sort them so that it's latest to, to, to like um, earliest to latest uh, and then have both of the accounts there and you can kind of like go through and, and see what I've been doing and what achievements I've been getting on both of the accounts I play on and uh, and the time and I'm planning on having some RuneScape 3 content coming up I still don't know how I want to format it I'm having I'm having some good ideas but I'm not 100% sure how we're gonna do it yet but we're, we're getting there we're making progress things are happening um, and the website it looks I mean I'm not gonna say it looks great but it looks better, in my opinion, than it did before, at least. So it's yamajack.com, Y-A-M-A-J-A-C.com, if you wanted to check it out. Honestly, there's not much there to see. So, like, I don't know why you would really go there, but um, maybe one day I'll put, like, a merch section on it. If I ever have merch. Which, I mean, that would be cool, right? The thing with merch, though, is a lot of... A lot of YouTubers, they do merch, but they just go with, like, you know, they, they, they go to Teespring or something like that, and they, uh, and it's not, the, the fabric quality isn't that great, the print quality isn't that great, it kind of, like, all the, the fabric tears, the, the ink bleeds off, and it's just not a very good quality stuff, but, you know, in order to do that, in order to get that kind of quality that you would get at, like, your, a store, right you have to have basically a store of your own and you have to have stuff because you can't just buy you know the the shirts that American Apparel or or somebody would get on and like single you can't just buy one you can go to American Apparel and buy one but if you want your own design you have to buy like a thousand you know or even more than that I have no idea how many you have to buy but you have to buy in bulk because they're going to turn on their fab for a bit to make these shirts to, to your order. And uh, they're going to make a whole bunch and you're going to buy all of them. Right? Because otherwise it's not worth turning on everything and processing it and setting up the, the new print and, and all that kind of stuff. It's just not worth doing that for, for this higher quality stuff if, uh, if, if you're only buying you know one or two or, or three, right? So... You have to buy a ton of them, and you have to have the space for that as well. Uh, then you have to have all the logistics set up to ship it out. So if I were ever going to do merch, it would be well in the future. Um, like, very far in the future. And it would be it would be something along those lines. Like, I have to get, like, a warehouse or something. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not expecting to ever be at a point where I can afford a warehouse. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, that's... I'm not, I'm not expecting to get to that point. So uh, merch probably not gonna happen. But um, little things maybe too is the other thing you can do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. 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 Yep. That's three deaths in like nine minutes. My God. <laughs> what was I supposed to do there? What was I supposed to do? I'm going to be... We're beating Desolation, Hell on Earth, Commando in this episode. It could take three hours, okay? But we're doing it. So, um, anyway, like, I'm not expecting to get to the point where I can afford a warehouse. So we're probably not going to have, like, shirts and stuff. But, um, at the very least, I can probably do knickknacks, paddywax, gadgets, you know? Smaller stuff that's easier to store. And doesn't necessarily have to be that great quality in the first place, anyway. So there's there are things to do, and I might I might I might have a store on the website at some point. I'm gonna have a video player at some point. Want to have a, a live stream section at one point. Um, lots of stuff to do on the website still. But honestly, my main motivation for making it finally was uh, is there something here? Yeah, I can't see it. My main motivation for making it was I want to make a uh, a toolkit for RuneScape. Um, just something simple that calculates, you know, profit per potion that you make with all the boosts and all that, or like calculate smithing cost with all the boosts that you can get from that, or you know, anything like that. Just just little 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 things that most people 
don't even know about really and haven't seen in use. I want to just make like calculators and and stuff for that, just because it it's useful to me. I have them on Google Sheets already. Is the thing, but when you're on Google Sheets, when you're on Google Sheets and you try to like import the GE prices, like the the prices of each item on the on the uh, the Grand Exchange, you can't really do that because you have to use import XML and then import XML gets all frozen and stupid because it's bad and it's just loading for like five hours so every time I want to like use it I have to wait for five hours so I wanted to move it over to a website of my own hosting that would not have that problem because I can fix that because it's really not hard to fix I don't know why it's even there in the first place on Google Sheets very annoying um, but anyway I wanted to move that over so I was like, okay, but if I'm going to do that, then I want to make it look half decent, you know? And then at that point, I'm like, well, you know, then we should maybe make my, my base website, because it's going to be hosted on, like, toolkit.yamajack.com or something. I don't know. And I'm like, well, I may as well make the yamajack.com look okay. So I started with that, and then uh, got that to a point of being acceptably done. And now I'm working on the on the toolkit website side of things, which is the part that I wanted to work on in the first place. <laughs> And I'm having a bit more fun with it. But the moral of the story is the website is up and running. It looks so much better than it did before, in my opinion. Less, it's, um, I don't think it looks great. We're just going for full, I'm spraying. I'm planning on spraying. Um, <laughs> so it's, uh, we're right here again, huh? Like, I want to be down here and then go over there. Be way down there. That's what I want to do. This did just get me killed last time. Doing literally exactly this did just get me killed last time, but this time it won't because we've got said time. Right? Is that how it works? So I want to get up there and then go down that death corridor. Um, it looks way better than it did before, in my opinion. Doesn't look great, but it looks. It's not so generic. Like before, I was using Bootstrap, and there was nothing custom about it at all. But pretty much, it was just Bootstrap, the website, you know. And uh, it didn't really look that great. And now it looks. It looks unique. It looks personalized, and it looks like it's mine, right? That's my website. It's it's my style. My 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 design, right? It's unique. So I can I can use it. It's branding, right? It's branding. So uh, and that's valuable. Are we gonna die immediately here again? Like, can we get to wave three at least once, please? Please. I affirmative to myself on accident, complete accident, but I mean affirmative. Just want to get to wave three, man. Just want to get to wave three at least. At least get me to that point, okay? Just die. Get out of here. And you die too. Don't go up there. That's a death trap. Yeah, it looks unique. It's not it's not great, but it's it's my style, right? It's branding, so I'm um, pleased with it. Pleased as punch. Very, very satisfied with it. It was a lot of work, not really. But it was a lot of it was stuff that I don't enjoy doing, right? Like this, this was me suffering. And uh that's always one thing that you've got to remember when you're talking about things like this, right? Is that if you enjoy front-end web development, you look at my website and you're like, okay, yeah, sure, that's, this takes like, you know, 30 minutes to make. Like, you did nothing. What are you talking about hard work? No, this took me like several days of, and hours and hours of work. <coughs> I tried to get the mute, but I couldn't make it. I tried to. I couldn't make it. I'm sorry. I tried. I don't have my uh, my utility engine open, so I can't I can't hit a button for it. My hotkeys are all dead. <laughs> um, yeah, if you're good at it and you do it and you're experienced, then yeah, you can look at my website and be like, yeah, this took 30 minutes. It's it's nothing. You did nothing. How can how can this have been hard? But I don't enjoy it. I'm not good at it. I don't do it. To me, this was a time-consuming thing, right? It took time. It was hard. It was a lot of work, and I didn't—I didn't have fun. 
you know, if you're having fun doing it, then it, 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 if it, it taking longer is fine. You're like when I'm working on uh, Python or something, right? For for some reason, then I have fun doing it. And if it takes me six days to work on it, then I'm like, yeah, it wasn't that bad, you know. But I don't have fun doing uh, front end web development, so I I spend two days on it. I'm like, yeah, it was horrible, right? So it's kind of just. Uh, all about that perspective, I guess. But I, I do have a lot more things I want to work on. Really, I want to get just a lot of things done on the website, so I have a lot of stuff for the uh, the um, the like project section. Because I don't have a project section on it right now, but by the time this video goes up, I probably will. So uh, you know, go. Take a look at it, I suppose. There's all the projects that I've worked on, or at least the the significant enough ones. I want to just b build things to make that, to just fill that out, really. Um, so, I, uh, I'm working on the, the RuneScape toolkit, which is looking pretty okay, in my opinion, so far. Might be even, like, live when, uh, when this video goes up, anyway, because it's not, honestly, not that much work to do what I want to do, and I've got most of it done already. Oh, perfect. Hit me, please, right now. Okay, you didn't hit me, and I'm not okay with that. I honestly was relying on being hits so that you would uh, only take two shots instead of three, but hey. To each their own, I suppose, right? Oh, no! No, 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 no. I'm not dying. I'm not dying. Okay, I am not dying. Repeat, not dying. Repeats, probably dying. <laughs> I didn't. Th I thought it would just dud. Uh, hold up. Let me get my Corsair utility engine open. Wait, is it? Cause it, my microphone hasn't broken yet. So if I launch, I think I launched IQ last time. If I launch IQ Launcher.exe, will it also break my microphone? Maybe that's what it is. And if I launch IQ.exe, it breaks. If I launch IQ Launcher.exe, it doesn't. Maybe that's what's causing it. I don't know. Back to desolation. Let's let's do this. We're beating it. I told you we're doing it. It could take us three hours, but we are beating it. Okay, it's happening. It's happening. I forget what I was talking about, honestly. Something about the website. Yeah, the RuneScape toolkit. It might be live by the time you guys. Or watching this video because this is uh like a few days before this video goes live so could be live but we'll see yeah, probably just the one thing on it for now but um more things in the future and then i want to make uh just some other stuff as well just to have just to fill out that that portfolio kind of thing not that i actually want a job necessarily in web development i just want to show off Right? It's not about the job for me. It's not about getting a job or about, um, you know, appealing to, uh, to employers or anything like that. It's strictly speaking about showing off, showing my prowess with the, uh, with the stuff in my growth, you know? My, my, uh, my development as a person, as a developer. Um, so I just want to make things just to fill out that. Mm -hmm. See it. Just want to make things for the sake of making them. Just to fill up that portfolio. So the RuneScape toolkit is the first thing that I'm making, and then uh, I'll, I'll probably be working on that for a while because there are quite a few things I want to add to it. And then after that, I might make a, a Killing Floor related thing. Um, you know, I don't know what I would make in Killing Floor. Like, what what would I make? Like a damage calculator or something like that. Like, I know Killing Floor already has one, but I feel like I could maybe make a better one. Because that one doesn't have all of the guns. The, the the calculator that I have found for Killing Floor 2 does not have all of the guns. It, it's pretty outdated. So I can make one that is, like, up-to-date. Um, possibly even, like, scrapes the wiki so that it's always up-to-date as long as people are adding all of the information to the wiki. Um, and that way it's, it's never, it's 
it's never out of date. It's always got the, the accurate information, and um, it's just better than the other one. Not necessarily a better design, because I'm not sure I could do a better design. Get to the indicated pod for resupply. But at the very least, I feel like I could make a more functional, usable thing, you know? Um, so maybe, maybe something like that. Um, could also put on like a... Uh, builds sharer kind of thing so that you can share like what like builds that you like and then uh, people could see like what guns and loadouts and all that kind of stuff that you use instead of being like RLL RL or whatever with these like three different guns you can just go on it set it up share that with people I don't know if that would be very useful but it would be a thing that I could make and it would it would add to my portfolio that's the important thing right um, just trying to think of things that I could do for Killing Floor 2 related websites and there isn't an awful lot because for the most part it, Killing Floor 2 is just about shooting things in the face and then doing it again. Honestly it doesn't really matter what guns you got or what loadouts you got as long as you're hitting things in the face you're alright by me. I want to make like a blog kind of thing as well. I want to honestly, one thing that I want to make is a uh, like a review type of thing, where I review like media. No, I'm not going to say any specific type of media because honestly, all of it. I I feel like I'm pretty okay at reviewing stuff. I enjoy it, um, so I may as well make a website for that. But I would want to make again. The website myself, right? And uh, from scratch, and that would be that would be a bit more of a complicated thing. Writing a blog, my own blogging software, right? That would be that would be complicated because I wouldn't want to just have like all of it hard coded in. Like it would have to be dynamic, and I'd have to have a control panel to update new stuff and all that, right? Like it would be a bit more of a difficult challenge than uh, than what I'm used to. That was a headshot, and you didn't. I guess I hit his stupid, his stupid little sword on his head. This thing. I disagree with that, but hey. So uh, I could do something like that, but uh, there's also what else was there? There was there was another thing that I wanted to add. I think I need to get into Twitter too, right? Start making my... I have a Twitter. It's LP. I think. I don't use it ever, though. But I should maybe start tweeting, right? Like, that's probably good for, for the whole growing as a channel thing. Probably, right? That's my guess. <laughs> probably, right? I can have a Twitter feed. Oh, I could have a spot for all of my rain meter skins. I have, like, a lot of rain meter skins. Most of them are... Like, I use Rain Meter as, like, a tech, um, like, demo kind of thing, you know? Like, I don't, I don't know what the word for it is, but I don't use it as a real thing. I use it just to showcase my, uh, my problem-solving skills. I like to create things for problems that nobody has. Let's go this way. It's a little bit more open. Just a little bit more open. And uh, so most of my skins are pretty garbage, but I have a few that are kind of cool. Like I have like a game engine and uh, like a scripting engine, like an interpreter. All made in Rain Meter with just the .ini files. No scripts or anything, no Lua. And I'm pretty proud of those, so uh, might make a, a page to showcase those. Although I guess I could put it on like the projects page, but maybe I'll just put like my Rain Meter skins as one of the projects and then have it to a separate link where it goes through all of the the different things that I've made and what went into making them and all of that maybe. I'm not sure. Lots of stuff to add to the website though. Lots and lots of stuff. I'm looking forward to it honestly. Get out of here buddy -o. I should not have approached. Approaching was the wrong decision there. We're just spraying. Just spraying. I just... 
I love Commando, but you're so slow. You're so slow. You know? Commando, not very fast. That's a couple of quarter pounds. Quarter pounds don't bother me too much. Because I can just kind of smack them pretty easy. If they should be coming down here, this should be a one-shot. Nope, not quite a one-shot. I missed the head, I guess. We're gonna... Oh, no, that's actually really bad. <laughs> Why did I... Ah, uh, I thought I would die again. I thought I would die, headshot him, and take his head off, and it didn't. It didn't do that. Ah, uh, God. I thought it would dud. I'm not used to the dud distance yet. That that stupid thing, Alpha Claw or Riot or whatever it was that got in the way of that that second grenade at him. That's what did it to me. I mean, ultimately, it was me shooting him in the face with a explosive at point blank. But we are going to beat this. I'm done losing and then not showing the episodes. We are going to do it. Okay, it will happen. It is going to happen. It's going to take a long time. You know what I'm not excited about? It's the size of this episode. Uploading it, processing it. Oh, it's going to take a long time. That's why I upload them today, process them today. And then tomorrow, I go through and, and do all the thumbnails and all that. That's that's the key to success on YouTube is uh, time management, <laughs> genuinely. Time management and uh, no radio silence, you know? Radio silence is bad. Bad for content, it's bad for nobody wants to watch radio silence. Yo, I was looking at my analytics lately. And we're doing we're doing spicy. You know? Like we are popping off right now. Getting like five, six views per video. Getting likes on my videos. Like we're we're, we're popping off. And it feels it feels good. You know, to have all this time that I put into to YouTube to be recognized and uh, people actually enjoying the content, to me it feels really, really good. I want to I wanna continue and get more and more people enjoying the content, but for now, it's like 5, 6 views per video. Like, I'm getting like 10 views on some videos, I'm not even advertising them. Like, normally when I get that many views on a, on a single episode... It's because I just put up like a KF2 Extras video or something and I brought a whole bunch of new people to the channel that were checking it out, but now I'm just, I'm continuing to get views. And my uh, my best performing video, the Cobblestone Generator and Extra Utilities, that video is almost overtaken for like views per day by the um, the Prestige Skins. I'm almost getting more views on the Prestige Skins than I am on the uh my best performing video which i never thought i'd be able to outdo and at this point you know five years from now the kf2 prestige skins might have more views than the um than the cobblestone util extra utilities generated and that's just incredible to me to have another video that's not exploding quite as much but going pretty quick because the cobblestone video it got to like ten thousand views in I don't know, like a few months. It was, it was, it was explosive. Um, whereas this one is is steadily growing, but um, still growing. I haven't actually checked how many views it has total. I've just been looking at the views per day, but we're we're doing pretty good. And I tell you, it feels really, really nice to see that um, that recognition and uh, people enjoying the content. I got my first dislike on a video as well, and you know, people are like. Oh, dislikes. Who would dislike this video? You know what? To me, that somebody would care enough to dislike my video, that means a lot. So to you who disliked the video where I said DLC isn't that bad, I thank you. You really made my day. Um, so yeah. It's, it's, it's growing and we're doing great and I'm feeling so amazing about it. 
I'm super happy, genuinely. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to get the, the rest of the content out, the RuneScape stuff, when whenever I can manage to figure out how I'm going to do that. And uh, I want to have the Mega Man Battle Network series, which I talked about a while back as well. So that's another thing that I want to have coming soon. Um, a number of things that I want to have coming soon. I'm excited to get them all out and continue to get that. But the issue is I've grown my channel so far as a Killing Floor 2 channel, right? All I upload is Killing Floor 2. So once I move over to a variety channel, the sooner I do it, the better for my channel, really. Is, uh, is my personal belief because once once I've grown and I've accumulated all these viewers who are here just for the Killing Floor 2 contents um, you know it's gonna be harder to move them over to RuneScape content and, and all that kind of stuff so I'd be growing like separate audiences for the different games that I'm playing uh, which is why I wanted uh, which is also why I wanted to have uh, um, yeah we're gonna upgrade this because it's balling out of control when it's upgraded which is why I want it to be more of a commentary focus uh, YouTuber rather than the game focused. Like that's one of the things I was talking about in one of the earlier episodes, in many of the earlier episodes, is I just I want to be somebody who entertains for the sake of entertaining. The video stuff is background, right? Like you're you're not here for the killing for two. You're here for, for my commentary. At least that's my goal, right? Is I want my viewers to be here because they like listening to me talk about anything. Not just me talk about Killing Floor 2. You have to die. Um, so... Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll get to that point eventually. I don't think we're there just yet. I, mean, I don't know if people are watching me for this excellent Killing Floor 2 gameplay anyway, but hey. Where are these, where are these quarter pounds at? Come on up over here. Yeah. Right there. We're gonna just smash you. Smash you. Should be one shots with the uh oh two shots for the, the real flesh pound. Yeah, this this one's going way better. I'm feeling not super confident about this one, but uh the most confident I've been so far at least, you know. You gotta go down as well. Two headshots should take you out. Yes, good. Uh, so I want to be somebody who's, I mean, I, ironically, my commentary kind of died at that point, so I got a little bit flooded. Um, but I want to be somebody who's, uh, who people are watching because they enjoy me talking about anything. They could, you know, I want to be somebody who, who people are like, yeah, I fall asleep listening to, listening to you in the background. Like, that's, that's the ultimate compliment to me, you know? Because to me, that's the ultimate content. It's content that I can fall asleep to. You know, when I find somebody out on YouTube, I'm like, oh yeah. I can fall asleep to this. I'm like, that's a good YouTuber right there. That's, that's a good, that, that, that's, this person's getting all my views, all my likes, they're getting the subscription, I'm buying their merch. This is my favorite person, you know. That's why I like Northern Lion so much, because I can fall asleep to him very easily. And I, that's my, I, I, I aspire to reach a, a similar level of, of, uh, uh, what's the word? I'm sure there's a word for it when you, like, put somebody to sleep. I'm gonna have to ask, uh, ask around about that or Google it or something. Um, but I wanna, that's, that's what I aspire to, right? Is I want people to fall asleep while they're, they're listening to my voice in the background. You know? Ultimate compliment. So, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully my, my viewer base is here for me and not for the Killing Floor 2 content. You know, I could be doing anything and they'd still want to watch. You know, I, I hope that's, I hope, I hope you guys are here for that. Uh, I am getting up before I skip. I'm not skipping the trader down here again, okay? That's what's getting us killed every every single time. I ain't doing it again, okay? Um, so I, I hope you guys are here for that. I hope you guys would enjoy listening to me talk in, in another game or something. Um, but I understand. I understand. You know, if you don't if you don't like it, you don't like it. But I don't know if any of you do like it or not. I didn't do it. I skipped. It's habit. <laughs> it's total habit. I just, it, I, I buy my stuff, I hit 8 on my numpad, I just, it happens. We're gonna die now. We're absolutely going to die now. We're probably actually going to die down here. 
We're going to get swarmed by a bunch of stuff that I can't handle in these small corridors, and then die. Like, right up here, this, this, this place is like a death trap, you know? There is something around this corner, I hear you. Don't think I don't hear you. It is uh, a little unfortunate, because this didn't have this much stuff in it before. They added this, uh, Tripwire did, um, to the map after people were already very happy with it and voted it in as the community map. They added all this stuff in, and honestly, it sucks. Because it would have been such a great map if it just wasn't for all of this garbage here. Like, I don't mind the stuff that they added here. I don't mind the corner spawns they added here too much. It's, it's that spot there, and then all the, the garbage that they added down in the, the corridors down below. Because I'm never going to spend time down there now, right? Like, I'm pretty much going to do everything I can to make sure that I am never downstairs during a wave. Like, they just, they just removed that entire section of the map, basically, as far as I'm concerned. Like, this is my spot. I like being here. I have two lanes. I've got a nice clear view of both sides. As long as I keep an eye on both sides, then uh, we're going to be fine, right? I don't have too much of an escape route, but it's nice and wide so I can kite around sets if I need to be. You have to stop shooting me, please. Oh, that was a dud, and I don't want it to be dud. A little bit overwhelmed right now, but it's okay. This is too many husks! This is too many husks! Oh, and I enraged the Scrake, too. And there's a Flesh Pound, too. Okay, and another Scrake, too. Oh, dear God. Okay, you're just gonna die. And there's a stupid thing right here as well. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're gonna have to pop a Medic Nade down. You are not hitting me, and we are apparently also not going to be going down there, because that place is just death in a basket right there. Okay, I can kind of get back down here now, but I'm kind of comfortable up here for a little bit, because they have a bit of a long walk. This is a pretty powerful uh, rifle here, so... Uh, I can probably take this dude out with it, no problem. Yes, good. Okay, that worked. That worked out acceptably, I would say. I think we might be able to win now, as long as we get a boss that I can kill on the on the commando. I think we're gonna be able to be fine. Um, hopefully, we can actually win. I'm gonna be excited if we can. My microphone is still working, so who knows? Hopefully by next week I've got Linux installed and hopefully it works. It's the other thing is it needs to work. Um, but, I mean, you know. We'll see. A matriarch is, I'm going to say, doable. But not really the boss that I was hoping for. Can't do an awful lot of damage to her with this, is the thing. You wanna shoot me again? Thank you. You wanna shoot me again, please? Thank you. Get another shot off. Get the shot off, please. Thank you. Get a shot off. Thank you. Okay, we might have to tank this one a little bit. Nope, we're good. It doesn't do that much damage, these explosions. They don't hurt her that badly. It's like she has some kind of explosion resistance or something, maybe. This is going okay, though. It's going fine. It's working to an acceptable extent, I would say. It's a little bit nerve-wracking, though, at times. I just want her to pop her cap off, you know? Please, shoot me. Shoot me again. And again, please. 
And one more time. I feel like a dentist, you know? This one or this one? Ah, no. I took damage for the first time. This is a pretty good little kiting route that I've got going on here, though. It's working out mighty fine. Shoot me, please. You're not too advanced for me. You're kind of pathetic, actually. So this, this is part of this is the part where we just have to kind of book it, you know. Oops, messed that one up pretty bad. Oh, this this thing has like this weird spready bit to it, you know. I don't really like it that much. It like uh, it's got this this weird recoil that I have to kind of like counteract, kind of similar to the gunslinger recoil in Zed Time. It's kind of hard for me to to deal with it. So we got um, this is a good moment right here because we can kind of take out both of these probably and then uh, get some good damage done to her, mild damage done to her at least, hopefully. Make it up here at least. Yes, okay. Good. I'm gonna pop a uh, medic nade here. Ooh, that would have been good. I could have actually tricked her into sustaining fire there. That was the first Edar as we've seen. I know that they spawned for a while, but I don't know where they. Uh, where they were at, because I wasn't seeing them. That doesn't do enough damage. Not worth that. We're gonna keep them for uh, for healing me. This gun's a little bit more accurate, but it's still got that same kind of problem, you know. Oh, I could have sustained. I could have sustained there as well. There we go, that's that's some sustained right there. That's pretty good. Okay. We'll have to handle the Edars. And then uh, take her out. Wherever the Edars are at, we're just gonna have to make sure that we get rid of them. And uh, then focus her down. But uh, we don't wanna really be caught up with her while we're uh, surrounded by Edars. Because that would be a very bad situation to be in. I can see you always, don't even. This was a really good Matriarch fight, honestly. As long as we actually succeed, like, it doesn't get much better than this, genuinely. This was textbook Matriarch right here. Textbook Matriarch! Not so textbook commentary, but you know what? I needed this win. <laughs> Give me that healing. I need that medic XP. <laughs> All right. You know what? Very good matriarch fight. I was in it. I understood what was happening. I did it. I executed it. It feels pretty good. I'm going to go record the second episode. So we got another 13 episodes to go on. This one was 44 minutes long. Like, my goodness. <laughs> oh. All right. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.